Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about formatting dates, uh, date time and numbers. So let's just say the input is date, and then the output expected date format is let's just say month and year. So how can we do that? Or date, month and year, how can we do that? Or there is a time, uh, you know, how can we do that? And then um, number, so let's just say there is a number and then we want to round it to the nearest. Uh, two digits so how can we do that so let's talk uh, more into that okay so let's get started so this is the article for this video and i have given the url for this article in uh, uh, description uh, video description the topics i'm going to cover are date format and date type format and the number format okay let's go to the date uh, format and date time format example so let's let's look at the input xml first and then we look at the output and then come back to the xsld part of it okay so we have employee information and the hire date and entry date time okay and similarly for all employees then we want to format this hire date in a different different ways and then of course entry date time we have some time as well okay so this is the output so i have clearly given the format we are expecting and then the output okay so uh, you know this is day month year and day month in the you know with zero three right and then clearly month the month uppercase month lowercase and uh, single digit month and if it is 10, 11, 12, it will be two digits. And then, um, you know, slash, and like that. Then the last is time format as well. So how we format the hours and minutes, okay? So this is the output and the XSLT is here. I'll explain uh, one by one. I'll go a little bit faster here. So this, the main key is the format date and then what is the format we are going to use that's what it matters okay so the format number and whatever the field we want to format we'll give here and followed by comma and then the format the single quotes so d1 that means that's a sing single date if it is one two three four until nine it will be uh, one digit if it is uh you know 10 till uh, 30 or 31st it will be two digits like that and then m n m n n small case means this is uh descriptive month and then year is uh a year always gives the four digits okay and what if we want to give dd even if it is one two three four we want to see zero one zero two zero three just uh append zero here zero one like this this doesn't make much difference because here is always four days and uh, coming to the month uppercase is just that mn uppercase and then uh, month low of uh, camel case is oh no uh, mn like this is lower case whereas this one is proper case okay then uh we want to see the number month only one digit right until uh, you know september october november december will be anyways two digits just simple then uh, if you want to have slash you can always add a slash and if you want a hyphen you can always add a hyphen and all and coming to the hours time stamp like hours and minutes and seconds h stands for hours lowercase m stands for minute uppercase m stands for month and then lowercase s stands for second okay so this is the this is the output okay you can run this in an online editor like this and you can check on your own and coming to the number format uh, so i have i have given the salary part here right for each employee i have given some salary and let's see how we can format the numbers we look at the output we just want to uh, you know see the number without any decimals 
and with two decimals, with three decimals, and then if you have, if you want to have a, a, you know, thousand separator, and then if you want to have a leading zeros, how we can do that? Is this is the XSLD. The way we we can avoid all the decimal places is that we'll just give. This is a format number. Previously it was format date. Now it is format number, and all we give is a hash in the single quotes. And if you want to give two decimal places, dot hash hash. And then likewise three decimal places like this. And if you want to have thousand separator, we can always give like this. So after three hashes, you know we'll give uh, a comma. And if you want to add a leading zero right all we have to do is how many ever we want to add uh, you know like how many ever uh, digits we want to see that many number of zeros we'll add and that's it we'll see the output like this okay um, so that's it for today I hope you have learned something and I want you to play around there are so many formats and you can always google as well for the date formats and uh, you know number formats uh, whatever works for you you can you can use it i hope you learned something interesting today and uh, have a nice day bye bye